Nowadays, every single game has some form of battle pass. Even a game like Clash of Clans has one, and Valorant is no different. But one thing that separates the Valorant Battle Pass from many other games, such as like Apex Legends or Fortnite, is just how, in, at least in my opinion, the Valorant Battle Pass is extremely underwhelming and doesn't really cause any hype whatsoever. Like in many other games like Fortnite or like Apex, when a new Battle Pass comes out, I'm actually kind of hyped to, you know, check out the trailer, see what skins it includes. And let's just say, I just cannot say the same for Valorant's one. But before this video starts, I am going to ask if you can hit the like button below and subscribe as I am trying to hit 10k subs by the end of the year. And another thing is that I am going to be doing a Q&A in like a week or two. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. And with that out of the way, let's go on to the video. But before I go over why, in my opinion, I think the Valorant Battle Pass is like kind of disappointing, I kind of want to go over what, at least in my opinion, the Valorant Battle Pass gets right. And that just has to be the value for new players. And the reason why the Valorant Battle Pass has so much value for new players is because just overall, the Battle Pass in Valorant is like the best way to get skins that are pretty decent and overall is probably also the only way to get skins on primaries that doesn't include just buying them from the store. Which is really good because when it comes to um, skin pricing, Valorant definitely has more pricier skins. And just the overall, the battle pass basically gives an option for players who don't want to spend too much money to be able to like, you know, fill out all their guns of skins. But when it comes to like actually why the battle pass is really disappointing, it has to do with the value that it brings to literally everybody else. And that just has to be because of just how high quality all the other skins in Valorant are. Because a lot of skins in Valorant have like custom firing sounds, custom animations, fucking custom in specs, some like play music when you And overall the skins are absolutely crazy. But like when you get these like battle pass skins where they don't have effects, they don't have anything, most of them don't even have a custom model. It's just, they, they're very plain and they stick out like a sore thumb because they're just so plain when compared to other skins that you can buy in the store for like way more. And this is unlike like Fortnite or Apex where the battle pass really has some hype skins. Like for example, in Fortnite, some of the most popular skins and the skins that people go absolutely nuts for is from the battle pass. Like for example, people love Omega, people love like shit like Drift, people love fucking John Wick season three. Like there are skins that people genuinely love and would love to get to this day which is from the battle pass or apex legends where the, literally the best um gun skins actually are from the battle pass because they give out reactive skins at tier 100 and 110 which get effects as you get more kills which is unlike any other skin that you can buy from the shop and basically because valorant doesn't really have any items that you know people actually care about and want to grind the battle pass just ends up being this disappointing something that i don't even know how to describe and it's just really sad when like any other game that's close by will have like absolutely crazy stuff in the battle pass and the last thing that really makes the valorant battle pass just really not that good when compared to like other games just has to be how even though the skins aren't that good players are still kind of forced to buy it and that is because of the Radiantite system that Valorant has. In Valorant, when you buy a skin, it's not just enough that you get to buy a skin and equip it. If it has effects or custom animations, you don't get those automatically. You gotta upgrade the skin of Radiantite. And the best way to get Radiantite in the game for like the best deal is to just buy the battle pass. So basically the last thing about the battle pass that just makes it not that good is because most people aren't even buying the battle pass for the skins. They're just getting it for a currency in which if you buy the battle pass, you'll get like in, in total 150 Radiantite. And that is why just overall for all these reasons that I just think that the Valorant battle pass is kind of disappointing. 
And honestly, I kind of wish that one day maybe they would release like a super battle pass or like a battle pass that's like way better. Like maybe instead of charging $10, they give us like, you know, like maybe make it $30, $40 where we don't just get like two select but two select skin collections and one deluxe. Maybe they could also add in like a premium, you know, give us some skins with styles that we would actually want. So yeah, overall, that's my video. If you did, did enjoy, hit the like button below and subscribe. And also let me know what you personally think of the battle pass. Do you agree with me or do you think I'm just clinically insane? And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.